The gift sets have hit the market and there are so many that I wanna share with you. This is video number one in a series of reviewing many gift sets that have hit Ulta, Sephora, and other places. Let's get into that so you can see me review what I have so far. I used to be somebody that didn't buy gift sets just because I felt like, well, it's mini sized or it's, you know, it might not be a great value, but now I am all over that train all the time because I feel like they give you some great value and you also get to try things that you normally wouldn't get to try. For me, if it's a super expensive item, I don't get to try those things very much because I don't, I'm a penny pincher, I guess I'm cheap, and I don't try them, but let's get right into the gift sets that I have. I have about six things that I want, get six different sets that I wanna show you. This one I was so excited to get because last year I was a dingbat, and I did not get the Laura Mercier trio that they have. Each year they do have a trio of her caviar sticks. These are the shimmer and glow ones, um, and I, I love her caviar sticks. I ended up getting one in some sort of a box that I've got this last year and completely fell in love with it. And this is the trio of them and I'm gonna swatch them for you so you know. And this one, first one is called Coco. These will be on your eyes all day long. And this is the most simple way to do an eye look. Today, I did take this medium color right here. This one is called Amethyst. And I did take Amethyst and Coco together and created this eye look. It was so simple. I just put the dark cocoa into the crease, the amethyst on the top, and then blended it as much as I could. And then I took the other one, which is a lighter one. Let's see, this one's copper. And I did lay this all the way across my lid now i don't normally like copper colors they're a little bit too orange for my liking but this reflects the light so pretty and i did put it across my lid towards this outer or middle part excuse me across my lid and then what i did was i actually went back in with the tarte highlighter and put that all the way up through my lid in the inner corner just to give it a lot of brightness so this is great because it gives you a chance to be able to try these without it being like thirty dollars each it's thirty dollars for the three of them you get to try the colors decide if you like them and be able to buy them later but look how much fun they are kind of reflective i think that they are great for somebody on the go but i know that they're super long wearing so if you need them to be on all day they're going to be on all day they blend out for a while you've got some blending time but once they set down boy they're there and they are budge proof and they're so beautiful this next one is a set that you don't want to snooze on because i think that this one will sell out fairly quickly fenty beauty this is their glossy posse and this is the gloss bombs she does now have the cream one you get a full size of the cream one let me get these out so you can see but that's the packaging you get the cream to begin with this is one of her newer formulas like i said let's swatch that one this one's called candy milk so this one is a little bit more opaque you get a little bit more color out of it but you get that shine it is um more along the lines it looks very rose in the tube but i feel like when i put it on just there you can see that it almost looks a little bit brighter and it looks almost close to the color of my shirt. Same yumminess, the same juiciness, the same pillowy formula as they have all the time. It's just more of an opaque formula. And then the next one, it's kind of got a bit of an orange cast to it, but these are the ones that are just the gloss bombs and they're a little bit, they're more clear, but this one has kind of an orange cast to it. You can kind of see it there. And then the next one is the one that I wore on top of my look today. This is called Hot Chocolate, so pretty on. And then I'll go ahead and I will swatch it for you right here. It's got that mocha color to it, just a tiny bit. But the reflect in these is so pretty and it has just a tiny bit of that um, little tiny flex in it to be able to catch the light as you're moving and as you wear them. And then the last one is called Champ Stamp. And this one is probably the most clear of them all as far as, you know, it's not gonna change the color or whatsoever. It's just kind of a clear gloss, but it does have those little reflex in it that do make you know, catch the light and make your lips look extra juicy. 
So I love those. I love the way that they sit on the lips. They last a long time on your lips. And like I said, I think that this is one that will probably sell out fairly quickly, but so much fun. And I love all of the colors and I love these as toppers. And again, that those cream ones, those are beautiful too. I think there is a set of cream ones as well on uh, Sephora. So I'll make sure that I link that right below this so that you guys can see. Okay, the next one I wanna show you is from Tarte. And I I used to hesitate getting Tarte's blushes, but these blushes are their Amazonian clay blushes and they come in a package of five. And I was a goober and I threw my packaging away. So I will put it up right here, what it looks like in the packaging and how you would be able to give it as a gift. This is a gorgeous set. It has one highlighter and then four blushes. I think it's a really great size for me and how much makeup I try. This is actually a fairly perfect size. This highlighter is called Fantasy. It is kind of a very warm champagne color, not, it's kind of got gold in it, but it does that shift between the peach and the pink. And I think it's so pretty. The next one is Captivating. This is one of their blushes. This is kind of a very peachy blush. It, these blushes are really saturated and boy, do they look beautiful on your skin. The next one is Charmed. The rest of these are all matte. This one is a very, very pink one, almost like a bubblegum pink one. I think that is so pretty as well. The next one is Exposed. This Exposed one is one that I had wanted to try for such a long time because I had heard so much about it being just a very natural blush. And I can tell you, it is a super natural bl blush on your skin. It can go with any look. If you're doing warmer, cooler, neutral, it can go with anything. It's just beautiful. And then the last one is called Delight, and Delight is just kind of this beautiful rosy tone, and I love that one for any of my looks that I need more of a pink blush for. I think these are fantastic as far as the value that you get for it. They have the super saturation. They are 12, 12 hour long wearing blushes. I feel like when I put these blushes on, they're on and they stay and they're just absolutely beautiful. Right now Ulta has, I don't know, I think it's three different ones that actually have the little mini bottles in them and it comes in a pretty nice packaging. They have two for women and one for men. This one to me had a little bit more of the ones that I felt like I would like to to try or have as the minis. The first one is Ariana Grande's Thank You Next Perfume. I love this perfume. I have it myself in a bigger bottle. It has kind of almost a coconutty base smell to it. I like that about it. I love this little bottle. They are so much fun. The bottles are so much fun on them. And it's a fairly good value. At $40, you usually don't get any of these perfumes, even in their tiny ones. I know that most roller balls are around $29 on any of these. So it's a fairly good way to try all of these and then decide whether or not you want the big one. This is the YSL Mon Paris. I have the big one of these as well. I love I love this fragrance. It's very, very feminine, very, very floral, but it does have those under notes of citrus and a, maybe a tiny bit of vanilla, but I notice the floral and the rose in there more than anything. The next one is from Victor and Rolf. This is such a cute little bottle. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I didn't show you the close up of the bottle of Mon Perry. It's so cute. And then this one is the Victor and Rolf one. It's a little bow glass bottle, so much fun. Now all of these aren't sprayers, they're just little stoppers, so you have to kind of pull that out. This one's very floral. It's kind of a more, let's see. I'm trying to put my finger on it. It's almost a, fresh powder floral scent. Very, very feminine. I think this is gorgeous. This is one that I wouldn't mind repurchasing and having for myself. I think it's so pretty. And then from Clinique, this is their Happy Fragrance. This has been around for years. This one is a little spray bottle. This one is really hard for me to describe. It's a very fresh scent, I should say that. So that's nice that that comes in the spray bottle as well. The next one is one of my favorite, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This has been one of my favorites forever. I don't have this in the big one right now because I did use it up, but this one, this one just, the fragrance on it is so fresh. It has a little bit of under notes of floral, but I love how bright and cheery it feels or it smells, not feels, but fun little bottle again, little tiny bottles. The next one is from Coach. This is the Dreams one. 
This is one that I hadn't tried before. And to tell you honestly, this is probably the one that I like the least out of all of them. All of them. It's very strong, um, but boy, this lasts all day long. So as it's going away and dissipates a little bit, I like it a little bit more because I'm not somebody that really likes that super heavy perfume smell. But this is really nice and very florally. I just, um, I don't know if it's something that I would repurchase. Now from Caroline Herrera, I do have the big one of these. I actually have two or three of these little ones. I love this fragrance. For me, the Good Girl fragrance from her is one of those, one of my iconic fragrances. It is just the perfect mix of floral and citrus and berry, that kind of fragrance. It's not very heavy. I can spray this on, have it on at the end of the day. I love it. So that one was really fun. And then lastly in here, they put one from Marc Jacobs called Perfect. And I put that on down here. It is a very florally fragrance, but at the same time, it is so feminine and so lovely. So I like that. So I think it's fun to have all of these. How fun to have them just sitting on your dresser or on your vanity. Another set that I got is from Clinique. And I think that the packaging on this is so much fun. You get five little lip pops in here of the lipsticks. It's supposed to be primer and the lip stick together. Now I do have one of them on today that I will show you. So it's that's upside down. So the tin itself is so much fun. Look how fun that is. And then um, they do come wrapped so they aren't jingling around in there. But you get all these different colors of lipsticks in here. And they are the minis. But the first one that you get is called Mocha Pop. And my hand is wet from cleaning it off with those blushes. Uh, Mocha Pop, I think this is a beautiful neutral shade just absolutely gorgeous. This is what I wore today. These are very hydrating, very moisturizing lipsticks so that you know that. Next one in here is Nude Pop. This is a gorgeous neutral nude that I think anybody could wear both of these colors. The one is just a little bit more of a saturated nude and then this is a light nude. And then the next one is Bear Pop. So this one again is supposed to be that nude color, but this one is more along the lines of a pink nude. Very, very pink nude. And and it's kind of a little bit lighter and then the next one is called berry pop so this is probably the deepest one in all of them i love this berry color it's so pretty and would be so beautiful during these winter months when we're going to special occasions it's just beautiful and then the last one i believe is the cherry pop and this is a beautiful one as well and i completely ran out of room i would say that this is almost a deepened fuchsia bordering on a red color kind of a hot pink color but they're very pretty fun to be able to get that many to try of their cheek pops but also again you could split these apart and give them individually maybe to the gals in the office or if you have a bunch of people that you don't know what to get them but you don't really want to spend a lot of money on each person because they might be acquaintances then this would be a great way to be able to do that as well have you guys picked up any of these sets yet or have you picked up sets that you want to tell me about i'm going to be bringing you at least one more of these videos about the sets around the holiday time and what they release around the holidays so that you guys can see what's a good value. I feel like all of these have been really great values. Thanks so much for being with me today and spending a little bit of time with me. I appreciate you. I hope that you're doing well and that you're happy and you're healthy and I love you all so very much. Back again really soon and I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.